Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day. It's Sunday. Grateful to be here with you, of course. In today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly why I just purchased $20,000 worth of Tesla stock, as you can see right here. Okay. Before I do that, though, don't forget to drop a like. I would truly appreciate that. You know, we talk a lot about Mullen stock on this channel. I'm also very big on Tesla. I'm going to tell you when I sold it. Okay. I sold it back in February 2023. I let the Patreon know if you want to join the team. $7. Links down below. $7 is ending end of this month. Then it's moving to 10 bucks. So I would get in while you can if you plan on getting in. But we ended up selling in February of 2023. I'm going to show you exactly why we did that. And yes, we sold the top. And I'm going to show you an indicator that told me exactly why we should sell. I just bought back into Tesla. And I'm going to break down exactly why I did that with the charts and where I think we're moving next. Nothing I say, of course, is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Just give me my honest opinion. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Put notifications on so you get these videos right away. They're time sensitive sometimes. And don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. So I have a new rule that I've created because I've been burned on a couple of stocks, um, especially the last couple months. One being MCOM. I ended up selling that um, at $2.25 after the split, right? And now it's just been completely crushed. But I took the ride up and then I ended up dollar cost averaging in two times and ended up walking away with my losses basically. So got crushed on that stock. I've traded other good stocks like DraftKings, Palantir, uh, got some great profit on those stocks and traded Tesla, um, especially on that big run earlier this year of 23. But I just bought back into Tesla because one of my rules now is I'm only buying into companies that I actually believe in and that I've done a ton of research on. And the reason for that is if I am holding a bag for whatever reason, I want to make sure I'm holding it with a company that I know will have success in the future. And for me, Tesla is one of those companies, right? The reason I bought though is I think a, a decent trade is also being set up right now and why I went in pretty heavy at the price that I did being $177 is because I think we will continue the ride up to a certain price that I'm about to show you when I show you the charts, right? So right now, very big on Tesla, Palantir, Molin stock. I just made a video yesterday saying I'm not buying any more Molin stock though. I gave you my reasons why. I broke down what Lawrence has posted. If you haven't seen that, go watch that video. But let's get into why I just purchased Tesla. So I'll share some news with you on Tesla if you don't know what Tesla is, but I'm sure most of you know who Tesla is. Been around for a while. They're the goat of EVs in my opinion, but I do think some competition will be coming up here soon, if you know what I mean. But the reason I ended up buying it is this right here. So I've been drawing all over this chart. You know, when I sold it, it was back in February of 2023. You can see the, the yellow line way up there. And the reason I sold it was negative divergence showed up. So what is negative divergence? Negative divergence is when the RSI is making lower highs, but the stock price is making higher highs. Okay. And we saw that happen. So I ended up selling my entire position out of Tesla. Okay and then we've just been crashing down. And you can see we've done a correction now, okay? I did think we were gonna move down to fill this gap completely, which would have been about 143, and I still think we could fill this gap. I, I still think we could come as low as 143 before the next run up, but for me, even if that happens, I'm okay holding Tesla stock, even if we come down that low. And if we do come down that low, then I would just buy more shares, okay? But the reason I ended up buying last week was this right here. So you could see I use Fibonacci's a lot and we have been just trading between these zones, okay? It's a, it's a great opportunity to you know day trade in a way with Tesla in my opinion. And you can see that we actually just crossed the 50. The 50 was at 180, okay? We just touched that and basically closed on it. And I do, think we can at least move up to the 618, which would be 187, but ultimately probably about 196, because at 196, you can also see the 200 SMA is coming down. So this could be some heavy resistance for Tesla stock, right? Now, I don't know if I'm going to sell in this area. I'm really going to have to decide that based off indicators. And if I really just want to keep this position that I bought into, but this is about a 10% move from where we are today. So 
quick 10% in my opinion. Great company in case we do see more red days, in my opinion. And that's one of the reasons why I ended up buying into Tesla stock. The other reason is the RSI right now is hanging around 58, okay? So we have a lot of room to grow. My first area would be like this red line right here above 70 is basically overbought areas with the RSI. The stochastic is pointing up. We're at pretty high levels, but that doesn't really matter. We've, we've gone on runs before as long as the stochastic is pointed up, which it is right now. So for these reasons, this is why I bought into Tesla. But let me know what you think down below. Do you own, do you own Tesla? Are you selling? Are you buying? What are you doing? Now, this is always nice to see that Kathy Wood says Tesla stock could soar over 1000% by 2027. That would not be a bad return being in about four years, right? Now, Kathy Wood invests a lot in Tesla. She just bought in Palantir above $10. Um, she is a wild trader. It seems like a lot of times that she bought in, stocks have completely tanked. That's just where our market was at the time, but she has been a massive bull on Tesla and going a thousand percent after everything Tesla has already ran to is pretty incredible. And I do see that this could actually happen. I believe Tesla will always be a great company. I believe they're evolving. I don't think they're just gonna stick with cars. They're obviously getting into robotics. They get into solar. They have a lot of different things that they're doing. And I, I do think Elon Musk is a very, very smart individual. So for these reasons, I'm also very big on Tesla stock. Kathy Wood believes Tesla stock will be worth $2,000 per share by 2027. And she attributes a significant portion of that valuation to robo taxis. What's crazy is Elon Musk has also said that Tesla will have a bigger market cap than Apple. Okay. Elon Musk recently told CNBC that Wood's robo taxi valuation model was the best analysis he's seen so far. Tesla has a strong competitive position in the nascent autonomous vehicle market, and it plans to capitalize on that mat on that by mass producing a robo taxi in 2024. Okay, so I, again, I do see success with Tesla in the future. Of course, none of this is financial advice, this is just my own opinion. And that's why I felt safe with this recent buy that I did. And as of right now, I don't know if I'll be holding or if I'll be selling. If we get into overbought levels on the RSI, then I could definitely see myself selling. It really just depends on what happens um, like when I sold before back in February. If you want to learn more about how I'm trading Tesla, Palantir, DraftKings, Molin stock, I just looked up another stock that I just bought into that I'll start making videos on. I think it's a very undervalued stock. Check out the Patreon down below. Again, $7 a month. It will not last forever. We have a private Discord with over 130 members and we all have great conversations. Hope this video was helpful. Enjoy your Sunday. Spend time with family, friends, whoever it might be. Walk away from the screens after you watch this video and we will see you on the next one.